Hi, I thought today we'd read Little Critters Wears Kitty by Mercer Mayer. It says, a chunky flat book. <laughs> so here we go. I went to visit my grandma and grandpa. That's the word grandma and that's the word grandpa. They lived on a farm and have a cat named Kitty. I asked Grandma where Kitty was. She told me that Kitty was sleeping. I have to find Kitty, I said. I know she wants to play with me. Is Kitty in the barn? Grrr, said the dog. Is Kitty in the chicken coop? Is Kitty in the pig pen? Well, those are no places to look for Kitty. Is Kitty in the pond? The mouse says, who cares? Is Kitty in the stall? Now the mouse says, this is getting out of hand. Is Kitty behind the haystack? What do you think? Is Kitty behind the haystack? Let's find out. Is Kitty in the cornfield? This is for the birds, says the mouse. Oh. Goodness, my finger slipped. This is for the birds, said the mouse. Is Kitty inside the house? Time to go, says the mouse. Move over, Grandma, Kitty, Grandma and Kitty. I'm sleepy, too. What? How did he find the kitty? Where did he find the kitty? It just showed up. It's like magic. I'm confused. So Critter and Kitty got on Grandma's lap to take a nap. And that's the end. Huh. Well, I guess Kitty was in the house the whole time. And Critter found him when he went in to take a nap. Okay. Unsatisfactory read, that one. But most of these stories I really like. <laughs> As, as Tigger says, ta-ta for now. I love you.